This project will be in my Patreon. Anyways, we're at the show. We're about to go in. I just need to show you how to make some webs real quick. You know, these psychedelic webs at Wakan and all these feel good dubstep is something we need to learn. Simplicity is key. Easy baked. They're amazing. And we want to dive into some of these techniques. Look at this. Yes. So basically I was remaking an easy bake song, finding some webs, finding some ethereal feels. And I just want to show you guys some of the techniques that they use whenever they're making some tracks. These webs and dubs are amazing. So we got to get down. If you guys want this full project, it will be on my Patreon as well. So look in the description if you want that. Thank you for supporting. First things first, simple drum loop. Second snare has a lot of reverb. We automate the reverb on and off. Tight uh, rim is the reverb, like a tight little rim. Nothing too big. Kick nice and tight too, using drum bus to really tune the kick as well to E. Off. On. Adding boom, adding bass, tuning that sub, getting the kick even more in tune with the song. We're in E minor right now. First thing I made was this sub. Sub is going to be moving a lot. And for this ex exact movement, we really want to draw this in. So we did one bar length on trigger. We're using analog BD sign with the wavetable position turned all the way up so we can get this cool sine wave. LFO is on the level going all the way up. This LFO one is on the coarse pitch, just affecting the beginning of the sound, making it a little transient by adding it to the pitch here. That's not as important as this, the actual shape. So you see, we're not going up full volume either to the top, kind of staying halfway. This genre has a lot more headroom. You don't have to get super, super loud. So we can, we have a lot of space to breathe and work with. Now we have the shapes going in kind of different shapes. And when I wrote this, I did it all by feeling, you know, sometimes these dots right here were too long or too short and I moved them left and right and really just caught a perfect flow. Every little small movement will change the way it flows and grooves. So you want to work around, find a nice LFO. Remember, I will include these uh, presets and the whole project in the Patreon. So if you guys need this, you can get it. But if you're going to make it yourself, it really is about catching a nice flow. So one bar, we have half of it split up, three per each side. That's how it, you can look at it. And the start point should really be on like the main lines you see here. And maybe you can like fade them in. That's like the attack. And you're kind of thinking of just ADSR the whole time, just shaping each little sub. Now the bass that's playing is kind of like a little bit off the beat here. So look, downbeat is at one. And then we go on to the next 1.1.3. I have a small little bit of automation for the first beginning part of the song, just like slowly fade it in. Then it becomes full volume. And just kind of replicating what Easy Bake did and sapped. That's the track we're remaking here. So this bass is the most important part here because this is where we're using like sine waves to make cool, psychedelic, amazing, like little doo -doo, doo -doo. and there's there's really a lot of different variations we can get out of this too. So I'm gonna show you the two knobs that we can use, such as FM from B and our down sample drive. So we can get, you know, various different tones. I didn't get the exact same tone as them. If you listen to their song, it sounds a little different, but the whole goal of this is so we, we can make our own cool, unique sounds, and you'll be able to this way. So let me show you. 
on the FM from B, we're going to remember it's at 43%, and then we're going to move it so you can listen to some different sounds here first. <laughs> So lots of different tones and sounds. The yoi type of tonality is coming from this down sample, like almost a vowely. If you turn it off, turn it on. So this down sample is doing a whole lot here, and the drive is at 32% currently. We're going to move it around, test different areas. That's a really nice one. Those high pitched ringings. Very nice. Cool. So I forgot the percentage already, so I'm just going to reload the uh, patch basically. Get it back. So drive, I picked 32%. This was just, you know, based off of what I was feeling. I like the way it sounds in the full mix. You know, it has to blend with everything else that's playing. Maybe we can, is that 32? We're gonna move it now. Cool, so you can see some applications here. And now, 32 sounds good because I think it just sounds equal in frequencies. It sounds nice and full. That's a good place to work. So how did we get here? So we're going to make the patch. I want to, to you to see the post-processing first, though. It's very minimal. Multiband dynamics to make it loud. Inputs are at 6 dB, 100% dry and wet, or the amount. This EQ8 is carving the sound and kind of turning up these highs. Without the EQ8, it'll sound different. So let's uh, test this, too. It'll be easier with it off, actually. I mean, soloed. So here, lots of uh, sub, because we have the sine wave, EQ8, taking a lot of the subs out, just even a little bit of these mids here, low mids. You see nothing really here in the 1K. We got some in the 10K, we're turning up some 10K. We're boosting down over here, and we're boosting down at around 445 hertz as well. And this is basically carving it into the mix, letting it fit. Small amount of reverb, low cut on, only the highs coming through on the reverb, 22%. And 567 milliseconds, so very tight, short decay on the reverb as well. Very minimal. Off. So you see, we really need this reverb too. This adds a lot of space. And that's depth, very important. Please keep in mind too, over here, they're delayed, 28 milliseconds. So it's slightly delayed off of the downbeat, giving it even more of a groove. If we listen to it without the delay. It's, it's very hard to even tell. With it delayed, it gives it a very slight groove. Remember, this is 28 milliseconds we're talking about, where it's getting shifted to the right from the downbeat, and it's giving us that extra groove and feel. So messing with how your notes are starting on the grid is also going to help with flow. You can kind of tell how uh, like delayed it is with the metronome playing. If we delay it too much, though, it'll start to get off time, which is something we can't do. So you find a fine balance whenever you're doing things like that. The ambience in the background is doing a huge deal here. So let's listen without the ambience. Just so you know how big of a deal these ambiences are doing. We'll get into these soon. Three effects on the sound. This is just measuring the stereo image. So you see, this is like, it's moving around. See that? 
So these are things we need to always be aware of and take into consideration, because if something's wrong in the mix, we can easily fix things just by measuring our stereo image. Remember, do your, as many tests as possible in all sources so you can see what you need. With this sound, we're going to break it down simple. So we're going to put all the effects together, turn them off, and we're going to start uh, from scratch making this. So you will need oscillator A and oscillator B to be sine waves. We chose the sine wave right next to basic shape, so basic CJW for the second one. And then we're going to be doing FM from B. So you set up first your LFO on trigger, one fourth rate, and you can make this shape. We have a small little bit of silence from the halftime. Nice fade in, two little shark fins here. So this is the shape of the sound. This is also going to be going on important things like the filter. So then we turn down oscillator B, level all the way down. The level on oscillator A is turned up to 75%. We're not putting the LFO 1 on oscillator A. We leave these as is. We turn the randoms down on the oscillators. FM from B needs to be turned on because we're going to pull in the sound from oscillator B into A. FM from B is turned up 43%, which is doing a lot to the sound. So let's go ahead and listen to it. It does. So basically, this is the sound originally. It's basically nothing. FM from B is what's going to give us everything. So remember, 43%. This is normal. We turn on oscillator B, add this wavetable, go up one octave so we can go higher in pitch, and then we add the FM from B, which adds the sound. So that's the sound we get with first. If it's at zero, it sounds like this. One. Basically, we want more frequencies to come through. So we're going to turn this up so it's not just lows. We need more frequencies to come through so the filter and the effects can be activated even better. Turn on the filter. We want to add movement to the sound using the filter. So this is where the LFO comes in. Cutoff goes all the way down. We add the LFO to the cutoff and turn it up. 40, and this is going to add movement with the sound. Without. So this is shaping the sound completely. Very good. Then we go ahead and add some distortion, but a special type of distortion. If we do tube, nothing really happens, right? We need to go to the down sample, the special distortion, so we can get some higher tones introduced. These higher frequencies are important. Remember this drive knob, you can move it and find a nice space that you like. Right now I'm setting it on 32. We turn on compression to make it loud. Multiband goes on right away. Threshold is the one we're going to be changing. We're not even going to turn up the gain here. Threshold is usually here. Then we turn it down to make it loud. Go to eight, negative 8.9 or negative 9. Doesn't matter. Mix. This knob is going to be on 30 or let's see actually. Yeah, 30. The LFO amount is going up 34. So you're going to put the LFO on the mix. If the mix is turned up all the way, it'd be overly compressed. So we're like balancing the amount of compression we're adding to the sound this way. Filter. Adding more cleanliness. So do you hear all these weird little tails and stuff? Just weird little clicks. This filter, another low filter, just like this, is doing the same exact thing. Cut off to the left, all the way down. And then we pull in the frequencies like this, make it move. We're also turning it up. Resonance is 21%. Drive is 23%. So this filter is uh, giving it gain as well. Before. After. So remember this cutoff, when we add the LFO to it, their volume turns down. And then we compensate that attenuation with these two knobs and turn it back up to make up the gain. And then lastly, if we look at the imager now, you'll see that it's mono. 
with no reverb. So we need to make it a little bit wide, and we'll use hyper dimension. Dimension's not on, mix is all the way down on dimension side, but the hyper, the mix is on 12%, and then we put the LFO on the mix, going up to 39. So we're adding a clean amount of width this way. You can visually see what this looks like as well in the imager. Cool. So now it's moving. And of course, if I needed to add another mono signal to this, I could duplicate the patch, remove that hyper dimension, and have another mono signal that I can blend in with this original signal if need be. Reverb will add a little bit of width as well because the stereo is at 100, but it's very minimal. Remember, decay is short, dry and wet is light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really finalizing the sound there. Not too much going on with this patch. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be able to help you out with any of this. But this is going to be an easy foundation onto getting some nice sounds here. Now we want to check out the ambiences. This is C sharp minor. I pitched it up to E minor. So these are all going to be in key. So these are really set in the atmosphere, setting a vibe and making it sound full in the mix as well filling out the rest of the frequencies. So that's really nice. Man, making stuff like this is fun. If you guys are on your psychedelic web venture, continue it. Maybe you'll get to a con one day. You never know. Just make them flows, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. You guys are the best. Have a great day. Peace out. Stay fresh. Later. Pull up the tools.